Hi everyone, it's been a while since we've got over the whole layout, so I figured we would give it a shot today. Step into the train room with me, and I'll show you what we've been working on. Uh, nothing a whole lot new over here for decorations. Uh, some of you have seen this in previous videos, although I did want to point out I did find something. Digging through old train stuff, the pins right there. Turns out that that pin is the uh, exact same one as the 844 I got that you've seen in other videos. Um, I don't really know uh, if that is still a viable website, uh, but uh, you are welcome to always check that out and giftsrr.com, see if it is, and uh, anything like that. Let's get started here on the layout. Alright, coming in here. Here's the quick overall layout view. Excuse the mess in a few areas, but wanted to uh, highlight some things as we go around. Some of you guys have seen this already, but I want to point out a few new things here and there. I've added a few details and other things along the way. Um, there's an old military truck I picked up from a hobby shop. Uh, hobby shop is actually the name of it. Uh, I decided to stick it here with the cabin. It felt like it felt like. Uh, good place to mix it along with uh, some animals here along the fence uh, we do have the uh, UFO scene running back here I keep uh, knocking the tree over that's in front so we'll, we'll worry about that later but over here we have uh, some more details it's a 3d printed uh, lawnmower right there we added in more ground cover that was in one of the tutorial videos you can see a fairly uh, full yard back here right now um, but it's kind of nice, starting to fill out a little bit. Got one of the helpers in here with me, got to step around here. Pepsi plant, I'm a big Pepsi fan, so that's uh, nice to see this one coming along and fitting into the layout really well. That's a Menards building. And you can see the uh, green elevator here as well. I uh, think I had a video on that as well, but you know, always worth checking out. Here's the new uh, crossing lights. These uh, are activated. There's a video where I show how to do that in the channel if you're interested. Um, but uh, you can see the trains coming through, so that's why uh, these are activated right here. Running two trains currently at the same time, so I always have to kind of glance and make sure that they're keeping up with each other. Um, here is the 3D printed Peterbilt from the movie Duel, along with some farm scene items. Uh, kind of like the way that that looks. Uh, the tractor and the hay bales are just uh, pre-bought. The tank right there is part of a Walther's kit, so you can check that out. A couple new additions. We have some new farm trucks over there. Uh, the new uh, UP Classic uh, crane truck right there. Thought that looked too neat to pass that up, so I wanted to add that to the layout. Thought you guys would like that as well. There's the other train, which I better slow down or it's catching up here. There we go. Um, if you guys remember, here's the 3D printed maintenance way equipment um, sitting right here on the uh, uh, grain elevator track, which is uh, the smaller elevator. Also has lights in it, which is kind of neat. Um, that's another kit that I put together. And, uh, yeah, I think I have a video covering some of that, but uh, not quite all of it. This locomotive here has an upgraded sound card with the sound recorded from uh, the Illinois Railroad Museum's Chicago Northwestern SD40-2, so that's neat. I haven't done anything with this yet, uh, however, this is going to be one of the upcoming projects. Uh, this is the crane that goes in it. It didn't survive very well during the move. You can see the boom is off. Uh, it is full lit on the inside. You can kind of see the lights hanging down a little bit right there. They're like that old style green uh, metal housing 
uh, like what's on the front right here. Uh, those who just have the poles attached to them, the ones in there don't. Uh, but that'll be a functioning uh, spot here in the near future. Also working on uh, putting out the uh, track signals. You can see some laying on the side, like right here. Uh, some are manual and some are going to be automatic, uh, and we'll get into a video on that here. We'll move over here into uh, downtown. Moved a few buildings around and uh, made some room for the uh, food truck court right here, which I really like. Uh, the uh, two little trailers at the back, uh, these two over here were kits, and I added people into them. Um, the popcorn one was pre-built, and then the uh, Doe and Joe was a Walther's one, same with traffic cones. Uh, the uh, Doe and Joe, I had, couldn't pass that up because of having my name in it, just like the diner right here. Joe's Diner, couldn't pass that up. And, in case you didn't notice, right here is uh, Joe's Fruits and Vegetables. That was another thing that I couldn't pass up. So, um... Those have been around the layout for a little while, but uh, I thought it would be worth pointing out. Next to them is the gym. And I really like the way that looks. It's a Menards building. Looks pretty neat in my opinion. And uh, here we have our trains meeting up again. Still might need to slow that back one down a little bit. That's okay. We'll get there. Uh, moving into more downtown here, you can see... Uh, car show here in front of the car dealership. Uh, we have the police scene where they are arresting a guy that was uh, obviously out doing uh, bad stuff. Uh, the theater that we covered in one of the videos, I really like this. I'm a big Star Trek fan, so you can see uh, right there there's a Star Trek 6 poster, Star Trek Nemesis poster. There's more on the inside and people in there in the lobby. You can kind of see as I move this around. Uh, you know, show times for both of those movies. And if you move around to the side, there's the posters of all the movies as well. Uh, before we go too much further, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, you can see the water tower blinking, is uh, if you noticed over here by the diner, you see the uh, little black stick right there. And there's more. Uh, those of you who have seen a few of my live streams, those are some of the cameras. And, oops, wrong button. Uh, this is what it looks like on the monitor. And so this is where I switch between the four cameras I have. And you can see uh, that is what everybody sees on uh, the live streams on YouTube. And uh, you have the nice uh, track side realistic like height scale view. Um, so you can see that that train just passed by the one that's uh, over here. It's actually with that one there that it was recording. And now it's uh, coming around to uh, the depot, and you're going to see that uh, come around the corner right there. There's a few second delay. This runs off of an old laptop I have. I have a better laptop uh, downstairs that I need to actually swap this out for, because this running just these two cameras and broadcasting it really takes uh, a lot out of uh, that laptop. It's almost too much for it to handle. But, you know, neat view, especially if you're watching it live. Um, Thought it would be something neat to add to the layout. I've always wanted to do something like that and figured out a way to do it. So we'll move back to downtown now. Okay, back in downtown. Um, I haven't set up the people yet, so don't worry. Uh, they're just laying there because they all belong to the uh, police station here. Police station does have, let's see if I can get in there a little bit, uh, two front rooms that are uh, detailed and illuminated. Uh, those are 3D printed rooms and I painted them and my apologies here Can't really get in there to see it, but that's okay um, Another thing that we can do Hold on a second Sorry about that um, So those yeah, like I was saying those are 3D printed and detailed another thing that I did on this was there is a jail on the back side It's over there um, and if you lift the roof off, give you a view into the jail. And so there's the two rooms there on the left. Jail is there on the right. There's even uh, beds. There's a booking area right there. And uh, a couple cells, stuff like that, chairs, all sorts of fun stuff. So there's that. Let's uh, put the roof back on. There you go. 
Uh, another thing that's new with that uh, a while back is this crime scene van. I thought that would be a neat addition to the whole scene right there. Uh, I really like that. One thing that I do on the layout is every once in a while I'll move the vehicles around just so that it's kind of a variety for me to look at. But uh, There's the dollar store and a uh, whole strip mall with a bunch of stuff which is always neat. Uh, a couple new vehicles. Of course got to have a hobby shop on the train layout. Uh, those are both Menards buildings by the way. And uh, same with the country suites. The Volvo truck back there does have headlights and taillights that are lit up. Uh, that was something I picked up from an antique store, actually. And uh, coming over here, Bowling Alley. I really like this as well. You can see the lights run down the lanes there. I like the details on it. The blues are like a nice touch. It has something different than your typical white lighting. I think that's a nice feature to have. Uh, that is something that my wife got me for my birthday, so she's pretty special like that. Uh, by the way, I added chains to uh, that car, and so it looked a little bit more real, and that was a kit. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, so that's kind of one of the new things there. Um, here are a couple, three, of the manual signals. So uh, this one here is a manual enter the shop, yes or no, um, which is just an on or off, so red for no. These are manual, uh, can you enter the main line, yes or no. And so those are manual switched. Uh, those are controlled uh, here on the fascia. And then the depot one, uh, so here's the depot, is uh, right here. And that one is a multi-position one. So there's uh, red, yellow, green. And then if I go all the way, there's an off. So. Um, that's kind of nice, uh, especially if you want to do some manual signals if you're running multiple trains and uh, stuff like that. Also controls access into the industrial siding over there. Um, so I need to get more of those set up, but just haven't yet. There's another one of the cameras. Uh, station platform. I think there's a video on that, but that's all uh, custom, custom kits, uh, custom lighting. The depot is two, and I don't think you can really see it very well because the train is in the way. Um, but same thing, station platform lights, um, there's some on the inside, there is some classic ones. Oh, and I also added lighting to the old style signal right there. Um, so right now it's just set on red, I don't have an easy way to change it, but yeah, we'll get there eventually. But, um, so extra light, Chicago Northwestern engine shed, I have no idea how that got so dusty, please ignore that, I'll have to clean that. Uh, wind turbine at the back, I always liked that, thought that was a nice addition, something neat to draw your eyes to. And then uh, moving on here, uh, backdrops, these are from, uh, shoot, I'm trying to remember the website, it's, uh, I think it's realisticbackdrops.com, they're like 12 bucks each, uh, I really like them, they give a good perspective, and uh, I've got a light bulb going out, I'll just turn it off. Give a good perspective, especially when that's kind of the only thing in your shot. Um, it makes a nice, uh, nice view for everything. Right, here's a just kind of like that. Um, so, plan on getting more of those at some point in the near future. Uh, you've seen UP 844, uh, and it's a uh, tender right there from Scale Trains. Has a handful of Chicago Northwestern baggage hooked up to it, uh, just as a smaller train so I could fit it on the siding. There is another Menards building that's a backup generator and uh, stuff for uh, what is now the oil uh, plant over here. This is another area that we're going to be working on. Uh, this is another Menards building, which is pretty neat. I like that. It's a neat animation for an oil well. Uh, so yeah, there's that part. And uh, let me move around here a little bit. Give me one second. Okay. Another thing, there's a couple more controls over here for uh, entering the main or the industrial siding, including a manual derail sign, because in the rails right there in front of 844 is a manual derail. You can flip this up onto the rail. It will actually work. It will actually derail trains. I've tested it. Um, that's 3D printed. And uh, if anybody's interested in any of those, I have a bunch because I use those as a test print, uh, send me a message. I'm more than happy to send you some. Um, but uh, you just glue them in the rails, 
and then they flip up and out of the way or they will work and actually derail stuff which is pretty neat uh, you probably have heard the uh, track uh, signals and uh, the, uh, what's it called, hotbox detector. Sorry, drawing blanks, I'm still getting over being sick. Uh, the sensors are actually here on the main line. This is the first one. And then the second one is over here. You see the green in between the rails. Those are uh, photo sensors that sense the train coming through. And then I use the actual signal stands right there to just kind of blend it in. But uh, you'll see, here's a, here's a train now. And there's the actual sensor. Unfortunately, this company no longer exists. And uh, because of that, there you have to do this a different way now. But you can do it yourself. Uh, there are some videos out there on how to do it with an Arduino. It's a little mini control computer. And, uh, yeah, it, it works. Uh, it works just the same. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately that company no longer exists, so too bad. Uh, one thing I've been experimenting with, and I'm going to do a little bit better job too, is that's a 3D printed uh, bridge pillar right there. Came out pretty neat. I need to actually do some stuff with it. Uh, but trying to get the bridge to stay a little more level and then blend it into the whole scene. And then this whole area is going to get a lot of uh, pavement. So I'm going to have to pull up some ground cover and all sorts of stuff with that. Um, and uh, excuse the light here. So that's going to be an area that's going to get work on. But these, uh, these front tracks, both of these are going to be the tank car loading tracks. Uh, and I actually have those for the loading platforms. And then, because this is ethanol, grain ethanol, these two are going to be the uh, grain unloading tracks. And then... That way I have these uh, background buildings right here. That's another uh, kind of just green storage. And there will be basically an under track tunnel to get those between the two. And I might even build some over. Uh, you can see there's some, there's a, like right there, there's like a square spot that would be great to attach like some piping to, like similar to that pipe bridge that's right there. Um, but yeah, this, all these buildings are lit as well. Uh, there's a flashing light on top of the, the stack up there. All sorts of stuff, but I figured that would be a, a neat scene. So that's going to be something else that needs to be worked on in the near future. I just have a lot of projects all at once. You know how it goes. Um, yeah, uh, so that's kind of the general layout overview. I do plan on this being an operating layout as well. Um, I have to cut down the train sizes, obviously, for it. But there you'll have uh, in and out tank cars and green cars for ethanol. Um, there, you will also, going over here, have the grain cars for that, and you will also have box cars and corn syrup cars for the Pepsi plant. So that's kind of a uh, rough plan on the operations, taking them from one place to another, fun stuff like that. So, um, in terms of anything else that happens to be new, that's kind of the main stuff. I mean, some of this isn't new, but I figured it was time for a good uh, layout overview and updates. Uh, if you have questions, you're curious about how I've done something and it's not in a tutorial video, let me know. I still have more coming up that I'm going to do that are uh, locomotive maintenance because some of these are due for maintenance. Um, in fact, uh, sitting back there kind of hidden is uh, Broadway Limited uh, SD7 and that is due for maintenance. So that's going to be one of them that's going to get a video on it. That one's a neat one too, has neat sound. Uh, and then a couple others from there. So that's kind of the main stuff. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out and uh, checking out the video and the layout tour. I hope that you enjoy it and it's going to continue to grow and evolve here with time moving forward. Um, if there's something that you want to see more specifically, drop a comment or send me a message, anything like that. Um, and uh, as always, you know, YouTube subscribers, you guys get priority, so you get to see the videos first. You get to uh, get your suggestions into videos first. And, uh, you know, please consider subscribing. It helps support the channel, helps support me, um, so that I can keep breeding uh, content to you guys and how-tos and all sorts of stuff. Um, locomotive maintenance is coming up next for other videos. i got to start recording that sometime soon. And then we are also going to go into uh, the uh, signal wiring once I start working on that project. I haven't done that yet, but uh, it'll be automated signals. So, um, yeah, that's about it.
Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, happy railroading.